Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from TrainSignal. The following clip is from TrainSignal's PowerPoint 2007 course, featuring over 13 hours of real-world PowerPoint presentation training. As YouTube grows in popularity, more and more people want to insert content from YouTube into a PowerPoint presentation, which is easily done through the use of the Shockwave Flash object. Now, in order to view content from YouTube, you will need a working internet connection during your presentation. Otherwise, that player will not be able to locate that video file because it is technically stored on YouTube. To insert a Shockwave Flash object, click on the Developer tab in your ribbon, click on the More Controls button in the Controls group, then scroll all the way down to select Shockwave Flash Object, and then click OK. Now, if you get to the More Controls window and can't find Shockwave Flash Object there, then that means you probably don't have the appropriate players installed on your machine. To download either the Flash player or the Shockwave players, go to www.adobe.com forward slash downloads. This is kind of a screenshot of what that site looks like. And as long as they don't change the look of their site, you should see some download buttons off to the right hand side. Just click the download buttons and follow the instructions on Adobe's site to install the Flash player and the Shockwave player on your computer. And now we're going to try to upload a YouTube video to our PowerPoint presentation. So going back to insert video underscore start. We're going to insert yet another slide, a blank slide. And before we jump to the developer tab and start installing the Shockwave Flash object, first let's open up the internet. I'm going to go to Firefox here. And I'm just going to jump to YouTube because I do need a video file to insert into this presentation. Actually, we do have some train signal videos on YouTube. I'm just going to type that in. There we go. Train signal training intro to TCP IP. Let's use that one. All right. Now, when you get to YouTube, the video on the left hand side. We'll usually start playing automatically, but that ignore that for now. What we need is this embed code that appears to the right. Go ahead, click anywhere inside that embed box. It should automatically highlight all the code there. And then hit Control C on your computer to copy that code. Next, we just want to open up like a Word document or even a uh, notepad will do and then copy that code into Notepad. Now I'm going to change the view here, or the format, to Word Wrap, so it'll appear as one big block. Now there are certain bits of information that we need from this code, and what we really need, um, if you see the words value equals, right after that you'll see a web address for where that video file is stored. Or you might see embed src equals and that very same address appearing there. That address, the http colon forward slash forward slash www.youtube.com and then all those little goofy letters afterwards, that's the address you need. So go ahead, select that, control C one more time to copy just that address. And now we want to return to PowerPoint Following the exact same steps we did before for the Windows Media Player, we're going to jump to our Developer tab, click on the More Controls button, and scroll all the way down till we see Shockwave Flash Object, and then click OK. That should turn your cursor into a kind of drawing cursor, and we're just going to draw a rectangle here, and that will insert the object. Afterwards, we need to connect this object to the location on YouTube. So to do that, go up to your Properties button, and you should see the option Movie. That's where you want to paste, Control V, that YouTube URL. And once you have that location typed out there, go ahead and close your Properties window. And when you jump to your slideshow view, the video should download and then appear just like it would on the internet inside your PowerPoint presentation. And as long as you have that working internet connection, you can click play and use any other controls here to adjust the volume or size or full screen or 
this little minimized screen view. I'm just going to pause that and then escape to return back to PowerPoint. And that is inserting a YouTube video into PowerPoint. Thanks for watching. For more information about our full video courses, please visit our website at www.trainsignal.com.